we are back at Hobson's Bay Council um, near the beach because there's a beehive in this trunk. So we're going to go in to pull that out. Um, what's scary is it's really close to the water and to, you can see over there a ship. Um, and if we walk this way, dun, dun, dun. let's see how quickly we can walk over this way. Keep everyone amused. I can sing some alligator music if we need. But there is dun, 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 a feral hive in the ground. It's another hive, possibly overtaken a wasp nest, um, an old wasp nest, because it's rare for bees to build a hive in the ground. Um, but what's scary about that is because we're so close to the water and to the ships that come in, um, these feral hives will bypass the sentinel hives that are at every port. Um, so should Varroa ever come into Australia, um, and bees on those ships that are infected leave the ship and come to these hives and infect these hives um, they'll bypass the sentinel hives that are there to let us know if feral has come in so yeah we don't really want feral hives in Australia and we definitely don't want them near the bays um, or near the water anyway have fun I've cut open the hive, um, I've already framed up one frame, because it was laying over the brood's already damaged, so it'll take a bit to recover from this, but um, it's all good, we'll um, nurse them through winter, and you can see a heap of bees there, it's not that big a hive, so I've dropped it down to a five frame um, nuke, um, the bees that were in that nuke got put into an 8 frame nuke a week or so ago so I have a spare 5 frame nuke which is rare um, my wife will tell me off for using her um, 5 frame nukes because she uses them to sell nukes and breed queens in um, but this is a tiny hive that um, needs to go in a small, smaller box so yay we'll frame it up um, catch the queen and um, then leave it here for a few days. Okay, I cut it open. Um, four frames of comb plus a spare foundation frame. Um, the bees were getting less and less, which says to me that they, with all the disturbance yesterday and today, they'd been lighting in the queen so she could fly, which is why she flew over here. <laughs> So, somewhere on this little bush, we will find the queen. So, normally she's running around the outside, but this bush is a little bit um, spacious. So there's a chance she's not. But at least we know where the queen is. We know she's safe. Um, we'll quickly grab her and cage her. And then... Um, then leave the hive there for a few days. Okay. Um, most of the swarm's still there. The queenie is in the cage. I um, don't know if you can see her very well. She's in the top left at the moment. Um, so, awesome. Um, we'll put her in the box. We'll scoop most of these bees over there because they haven't been here that long they haven't orientated to here so most of them will go back to where the old hive was awesome brilliant this one's pretty much done and queen is in the box i'll put a whole bunch of the um, swarm with her we now have fanning towards the box bees telling the other bees, hey this is where home is now. Uh, these bees are some of the leftovers from the 
little swarm. Um, they're working their way into the box as well. Um, there are some left over there. But um, we'll have to come back tonight to sort them out. So, oh, 